It may seem like the world of AI is a little bit intimidating at times. Every single day there's 20 new tools showing up on the market just to make you even more confused. There's about 100,000 tools for SEO marketing, for product management, for traveling, for coding. And in reality, most of those are kind of useless. Kind of reminds me of the dot-com bubble of the early 2000s, which I was a bit too young to actually understand at the time. But basically, if you had a pet shop or some other random business and you would add .com at the end of the name of the business, suddenly your company is worth $10 million and it's skyrocketing because it's a tech startup and all that. So today, instead of reviewing yet another AI tool out there on the market, I thought it might be quite interesting to have a look at a certain task and find a way how to automate it using AI and make the process a bit easier and faster and hopefully more enjoyable at the same time. So today I'm going to be writing an article with you guys and I'm going to show you a couple of the tools that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, which I find extremely useful. And I hope I can prove to you that it's actually going to be very beneficial for the process. And just FYI, all the tools that I'll be discussing today, I've already reviewed in previous videos. So if you want to dig a little bit deeper into them, I'll leave links around the video so that you can get back into those topics. And before we get started, I would really like to ask you for a huge favor. If you could please leave below in the comments what you do for a living or what kind of tasks you feel you could automate using AI, but are not exactly sure how to, I would be more than happy to respond and offer you some help on how to automate those tasks and potentially make a video where I show exactly what the workflow could be for that particular job. So without much further ado, let's get into the article writing process. And just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna assume that I'm writing an article for Medium and that I have my little blog, which talks about nutrition in general. So before we jump in, let's talk about the tools we're gonna be using. You've probably heard about ChatGPT, and if you haven't, it's a tool which allows you to have a basic conversation about any topic. And if you're using the free version, it doesn't have access to the internet. If you're using the expensive $20 per month one, it does actually connect. And you can ask it any question, do any sort of research, generate text, generate images if you're using GPT-4. However, there is no need to pay the $20 because as not a lot of people, I think, know, but you could be using Copilot from Microsoft and you basically get the same tool for free. You can generate your images, you can do all that fancy stuff. So we are gonna navigate ourselves to Copilot and I've already created an account in the past, but the process is very simple. And if you want to learn a little bit more about Copilot, there's a link above, so you can click into that. But we'll start off from telling Copilot about what we're doing and what we want to do. So. I'm going to say that I'm writing articles on my Medium page about nutrition and I would like it to give me 10 ideas for exciting new topics that I could cover in my next article. And I'm going to be specific that I want to bring in my existing audience, but I also want to grow my channel. So I want to bring new subscribers in there with this new article. I want the topic to be catchy and engaging. And straight away, we get a list of 10 ideas for articles for that niche that I have, which is nutrition. So we have how to eat more prebiotics and boost your gut health, the benefits of berries and how to include them in your diet, the truth about sugar alcohol and how it affects your body, how to get enough protein from plant-based sources and six more examples. Of course, you can ask for 20, you can ask for three, depends on your workflow. I actually like to go with a list of 10 and I actually quite like the topic of berries. So I'm gonna go with that one. And one really cool thing about using Copilot, which again uses GPT-4, the paid version of ChatGPT, but for free, um, is that it's connected to the internet. So all those little links that you see here, uh, and at the bottom you can see the little buttons, those are links to actual articles. So for my case of the berries, if I click on that, it will actually take me to a Harvard article about nutrition, and it does mention berries in there. So that's very helpful. And so I'm going to continue my conversation with Copilot about my brand new article. So I'm gonna mention again the title and well, the first couple of things that we need to do when writing an article is to get a proper title, um, maybe some imagery so that it's a bit more eye-catching, and of course the article. So let's start with the first one. We're going to start with the title. So again, we're going to ask Copilot to give us 10 examples for titles of our article. Of course, it has to stand out from the rest. So let's see what it gives us. And we have very good how to enjoy the health benefits of berries every day. I kind of like the pun in that one. So I think I might actually use this one, but let's read the rest of them. The ultimate guide to berries, why you need them and how to eat them, 
how to boost your immunity, brain power and skin health, berries 101. All right, I'm gonna stick with the first one. Berry good is it's just so cheesy that I'm, I'm just gonna use it. It's just a very, very good title. Kill me. All right, next one, we're gonna need a little image to complement our title. So let's ask for a couple of ideas for imagery for our article. Again, I'm gonna ask for a list of 10 and we have a close-up of a bowl of mixed berries with yogurts and granola, a collage of different types of berries and their health benefits, a photo of a person holding a handful of fresh berries and smiling, and six more titles. So again, I actually quite like the first one. It's a bit basic, but I can see that it might actually look quite nice on an article like that. And another benefit of Copilot is that it has DALI 3 built in. And DALI 3, for those of you who don't know, is an image generating tool, which I've also reviewed. So click on that up there and we are gonna use it to generate our little image. And what I'm gonna do is gonna be very lazy, but this is kind of the point of this video. I'm gonna copy paste the title that it's given me for that image. And I'm gonna ask Copilot to generate an image based on that. And here we go, we got four examples for that image, all very similar. I'm gonna use the first one again. If you've used Copilot in the past, you might realize that there's a bit of a difference between what it used to look like and what it is now, because they've added a couple of tools. So you can select an item on the picture, like I'm selecting the whole bowl, and you can blur the background, which gives you that bokeh effect on the rest of the table behind the bowl. I don't think I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna have a look at some of the effects or filters or whatever you'd call them that they've also added into the designer tool in Copilot. And I am going to use the low poly tool because they because it always generates this kind of simple, minimalist, but good looking image of whatever you're creating. And so we get this almost origami looking bowl of berries which I quite like. Oh, I kind of also like the title Claymation. Let's see what that does. All right, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna use this one. It's, it's pretty awesome. I really like it. All right, so at this point, we have a topic, we have a title, we have an image. Now comes the difficult part, which is writing the actual article. So before we get into writing the article, I think it's important to get some research. I mean, we don't know that much about berries. I mean, maybe you do. I, I don't, I eat a lot of them, but I definitely need to learn a bit more about them. So what I'll do is ask for three articles about berries and see what I can learn from that. So I got 11 reasons why berries are among the healthiest foods on earth, nine amazing health benefits of berries, the eight healthiest berries you can eat. Sounds like a decent set of materials. So let's dive into it. And all right, the article looks fine, but again, laziness kicks in. And what I'm gonna do is copy the URL of that article and ask Copilot to give me a summary of what's inside. And there you go, you've got the basics of what's in the article in six lines. So you can dig into that, see if it's interesting. And if it is, I guess you can read the whole article. If you don't, move on to the next one. Another step on our journey is complete. We've done a bit of our research. The next part of my investigation would be going over to YouTube because I feel like there's a YouTube video about any subject out there. And before I do that, let me just remind you that what we're using here, Copilot, is a tool built by Microsoft. So it's probably gonna be very good with working with other Microsoft tools. However, YouTube belongs to Google, so it would only make sense to use an AI tool built by Google. And so we're going to move to our second and last, I promise, AI tool. It's called Gemini and it's built by Google. It's actually just been released very recently. So you're basically becoming an early adopter of it. And what I'm gonna do is because we need to start the context again a little bit, just to give Gemini an understanding of what we're actually doing here. I'm writing an article about the benefits of eating berries. Enter, that's all. And as you can see, it's actually given me even more information about berries, which is very useful. And now it's kind of on the same page as we are that we're talking about berries and we want to write an article about it. After that's done, I'm gonna ask it for five YouTube videos on berries and the benefits of eating them. And as you can see, it's actually launching a YouTube sub feature of the tool where it's kind of communicating between Gemini, which is the tool we're using now, and YouTube. And it's doing some kind of communications where it finds all the best videos about berries. Well, I hope the best ones. And so we get a list of five different videos which we can dive into. And let's look at the last one. What happens when you start eating blueberries every day? Kind of a creepy thumbnail with that muscle man there. But let's dive in regardless. And it is 11 minutes long, which is a bit too long for my millennial brain. So I'll copy the link again and I'll paste it into Gemini again and ask it to summarize the video because it can do that and it's really cool. It's, it's basically gonna... It's basically gonna summarize the whole video within a couple of seconds. 
So again, I can decide if I actually want to go through with it or should I go to the next one. So at this point, we have quite a lot of research on berries in this conversation that we're holding with Gemini. And of course, we can copy paste any additional information that we got from Copilot before the Microsoft tool that we were using before, just so we have a compartmentalized piece of information about all the things that we would like to cover in our very good article. I'm sorry. So at this point, we can actually ask the AI tool that we're using, Gemini in this case, to give us an inspiration on how we could write the article. I'm not saying you should copy paste whatever it spits out, but you can definitely use it for inspiration and maybe showing you new ways of writing media like this. So what I'm gonna do actually is use one more interesting feature that all those different AI tools have is that it, you can give it a taste of how you write and then based on your writing style, ask it what you want to write about and it should spit out an article written in your voice. So I'm not gonna actually use my style because, well, I don't really write articles, so it'd be kind of hard to find a sample of that. But to be fair, you could also use an email or any kind of other text that you've written yourself. But for this case, I'm going to use an article written by Louis Theroux, who's an incredible writer, and he does amazing documentaries about a whole range of topics. And yes, I think that's a nice way of speaking that he has, so I'm gonna just copy a fragment of his article, copy that back into Gemini, and I'm going to ask Gemini to use that tone for our article and see what happens. Oh, we're gonna need to change the title because we already have our own title, but let's have a read through the article a little bit. So, there I was, staring down at a bowl of blueberries, a childhood memory flooding back. Sticky fingers stained blue, the tart sweet juice dripping down my chin, and an overwhelming sense of accomplishment for having devoured a whole fruit bowl. Mostly because my parents bribed me with a dollar for every bowl I finished. So, you have a pretty genuine sounding article. Again, I wouldn't recommend copy pasting that straight into Medium, but kind of using it as an inspiration on how to write your article. And there we have it. We have our little process, which probably took us about 10 minutes to come up with an idea for an article, come up with a title, an image, do the research, get it written, of course, rewrite it yourself. This is a very basic example of how you can use AI in practice to basically improve your workflow, speed things up, make it a bit more fun, I guess, as well. And do notice that some of those techniques don't need to be applied to actual article writing. They can be applied to writing an email at work, doing a bit of research, generating ideas for images that you want to create, any of those things. So please, next time you're doing stuff like that, please consider using AI because we're in the age where it's important to just get an understanding of how you can leverage it for your use and potentially save time, money, and use it for, I don't know, going for a walk or something, enjoying the winter out there. I really hope you found this video useful and I do urge you to leave a comment about what we can automate next time and I guess I'll see you in that video. So take care for now and I'll see you soon.